Welcome to Rebuild the City, Alpha 20.4. I've just started a new game, as you can see. We're just going to okay, continue on with doing some of our rebuild series. Nothing too exciting. Um, just kind of a bit of renovation of what it is. I don't know about anybody else, but when I play Seven Days, one of the things that gets to me is all oh, the mess of the houses. I always want to fix them. So <laughs> this little series is more relaxed. No zombies. Just kind of... A builder simulator really to kind of um, rebuild some of the towns and the houses so we'll go from there. So I started not too far from here just down the road a bit I spotted this this town came wandering over I always try to do it in the green forest area simply because it's it's lighter it's brighter um, looks like there might be another town over there and potentially another one right over there on the edge of the distance this one looks like a nice one. It's got lots of different styles of houses. It's got, I don't think that looks like a wee cathedral. Not a wee cathedral, a wee cemetery one. Maybe not. Um, some industrial areas. That looks like a trader. Obviously won't be doing anything with the trader. Um, the good thing with the trader when you're doing something like this is you can actually use the trader to reset the houses. When you do a quest, as you know, when you start the quest, <laughs> it resets the house. So um, if you want to redo some of them, you can do that. So... We'll just pick a house, start, kind of get going. It's a lot of interesting houses, some smaller ones, some bigger ones, some industrial bits. So if we just take a look around at some of the houses, maybe jump down and have a think about doing some of these ones. Let's have a look at some of the ones around here, shall we? See which one we want to fancy doing. So I might speed this up, slow this down, depending on what we're doing. Um, I appreciate that sometimes when you're just destroying or building, it can get a bit boring and a bit, bit tedious. So obviously pick it up, put it down. There's some nice looking houses here. Fence lines. I like the ones that actually have to find lines certainly makes it easier for doing a bit of um, landscaping. This one looks like a nice little one right here. We'll do this one right on the edge. So it's got, let's have a scoot around the outside. So I'm obviously on creative mode. If you have never used creative mode, the only difference with creative mode is essentially this here that gives you access to everything that was in the game that you can build yourself or in some situations not build yourself so if it's in the game you can pretty much get it so if we continue on from here we'll just have a look around and see what this building is like so we've got a little bit of a driveway nice little fence could really do with repairing some of the brickwork at the front um fence line <laughs> need to do some repair work up here get rid of some of this and it looks like we've got the outhouse and more car what how many cars does the one house need? Um go inside take a look and there is yep, yeah, so plenty of work to repair the house. Got a nice little back garden and then a non fenced area that you could have or you could add a fence in. Again, like I say, I tend to do a little bit of I don't just treat it like house flipper, I do also kinda do the gardens and stuff. I like to try renovate it as if you were renovating the areas and the apocalypse is over, you've been sent in by a team to fix it um more like this or clean up detail less like house flipper and so i like to clean up all this kind of junk that's kicking around on the street as well and fix all the pavements um the only downside obviously and anyone who's used this knows that you don't really get a lot of paint swatches clean paint swatches so you always kind of have a bit of a rundown look there, there's a limitation on that but hopefully that's something they might include but um i know there are limitations for the amount of swatches they can use so we will see so first thing i want to do is actually clear my inventory like that so and then we're going to get some of the dev tools up because it just makes it a little bit easier for doing things So there's lots of different things you can use. There's, you know, tools up, tools down. Um, 
unpacking, repacking, different things. There's lo there's loads of different stuff you can use with the developer tools. I just tend to stick to the basics. Not too overly complicated with what I do. I'm, I'm, I do on occasion create my own POIs for deathmatch arenas that we play on our Twitch channel on occasion. So feel free to take a look at that, Spec Squared Gaming. Um, but for the moment, we'll look forward. Now, one of the things you don't want to do is this kind of destroys anything it touches. If you shoot something like that that explodes, it will explode. So if you would shoot it in the game and it would explode, if you shoot it with this, it's going to explode. So the way around that is the wrench, like you would in any of the others. So how about we go in the house, we take a look around and we see what's there. So we can see if we take a look at the top, the roof is intact. Which is good. The chimney looks intact. So let's go take a look inside and see what we get. Now sometimes you get just one layer, other times you find you've got multiple layers you weren't expecting. So there we go, straight off the bat we can see there's a basement. Nice kitchen area at the back of the house. Which leads to a small bedroom. So that's a bit of a convoluted layout, but we'll we'll see. That's to a utility, not a bathroom, not a utility space. Mm, bathroom, the ground level. Mm. Depends on whether there's more, I suppose. Leads to a room with bunk beds, a lounge space. Mm. Some of this, I would be tempted to take away some of these walls. It's a little cramped. For what it is and then again we have an attic space actually a decent attic space potentially could utilize this so let's start the cleanup i'm just going to clean all of this out let's get rid of the junk let's get rid of the, all the broken things and we will go from there So that was obviously holding something up. I would replace that on the roof and see where we go. So one thing to remember when thinking about these builds that are created for this game is that they are designed to be allow you to flow, go through the zombies, work through a maze, avoid the traps. In the real world that's not how your house works. So obviously one of the things that you need to think about when in this is that while it might still look a little like a house, it, by the time you start taking some of the other stuff out it stops feeling a little like that simply because doesn't flow correctly and that's what I was saying is I'm not looking at this of moving through traps I'm feeling out the flow of the house as it would be as a real house and it doesn't quite flow right we can work on that Sometimes it doesn't always work right. Now, there shouldn't be any zombies in this game. There will still be rabbits and deer and all that because they're not hostiles, so they will still appear in the game. You can get in your way on occasion. Oh, like that. Oh, that made me jump. <laughs> so, yeah, they do still appear on occasion. So everyone has their own little way of doing this. Some people try keep as much as in there and just repair the walls and put the paint back on. I try to do a little bit of a combination. Um, sometimes if I like the layout of a room, I'll keep it. I'll try to keep some of the colours. I 
tend to try repair back to its original state and then start renovating so it feels more like a house would in reality rather than when you're trying to look at it with a hole in the wall it, it, it's a little bit you don't have as much imagination on that side so it can be a little bit more difficult Always look up, there's always light shades you miss. It's one of the things that I always get. You always miss the light shades. I also like to um, treat it as if you're fixing up for some reason. I tend to put solar panels on the roof and actually add power to the houses so that they're functioning. Whether that's a step too far, I don't know. I, I just like to think of it as real what it would be if it was a real place and I think that's the, the way I take it going forward Ooh. don't know how many houses would have attic access off of a bedroom it would be more likely to be off of a utility space or a a main room but I don't know I suppose this is set in America I don't know if that's standard in America I, I couldn't comment last time I did one of these as part of a stream and I had some people obviously joining in and I had some American friends watching at the time and they were like, no, no, um, I remember saying, oh, the, the wardrobe's off the bathroom, what's that about? Oh no, apparently that's quite normal. And I was like, go figure. It's not in Britain, but go figure. You learn things all the time, culturally. So I'm still trying to get a feel for what I'm going to do with this series. It could be that I do, I speed them up and I have one house, a pair of beds, or whether I'm gonna, you know, break it down a little bit more. I'm, you know, if we're talking some of the bigger buildings, that might be quite a long video even sped up. So I'm just gonna work my way through it and get a feel for it and see how it goes. So obviously uh, maps can change depending and the random gen depend is, depend, changes depending on the alpha that you're running. So this is currently alpha 20.4. I can't remember the seed. I'll double check that and, and I'll put it in the description so that the seed's in the description um, in case anybody wants to play on this particular screen themselves. This will be interesting. This actually work as a fireplace, or is this just what they do in this game a lot? See, it's just a, a space and it's painted, and there's no actual hole for the fire. Now, I get that, and it's aesthetics, but part of me is also like, that wouldn't work in reality. But then you're going to have a clunky, chunky, big space where you do put it, and yeah, I sometimes flush them out, I sometimes don't. It just depends on the feeling I'm getting as to whether it would go with the space. I'm going to take away the ladder for the moment. So this is, this is Higgledy Piggledy because this is a bedroom with a really a decent sized walk-in wardrobe. And then it's off a bathroom, which I suppose you could argue is an ensuite, with a bathroom right to the main door. And then a second one, which looks more like the master suite because I had the double in here. Um, I'm not sure whether I would do it as a two bed or whether I would convert one of the spaces up the loft a little bit. We'll have to see. So let's go downstairs to the basement. Do, do, do. Okay. So down here. Oh, this is really spacious. See, I'd be tempted to convert this into useful space.
So this is something they do quite a lot. They do this kind of half wall thing when they're putting walls up instead of this full block. Now I get it's because it, it takes up less space, so it looks like it takes up less space. But then what happens if you then try to put something against the wall, it sticks out from the wall because obviously it doesn't brush up against it. Um, which can be a pain when trying to put things in. It doesn't quite always look right, but... Now the good thing with uh, creative mode is we don't require um, any kind of equipment really for making anything so we don't need to worry about having a cement mixer and a workbench and all these other things so it does make working through them a little bit easier the only downside is you do still have food and water <laughs> which is a bit of a pain I can't remember what's the highest one. I think it's the skate, isn't it? We'll grab some of that. And we'll grab some of that. I also don't do the cheat and give myself XP and max out all my skills. I it's not something I do. You go up easy enough once you start um renovating. I, I I suppose you could get away with doing it, but it's... See, I actually kind of like that. I think that would make a nice little stab down here. I'll debate leaving that for the moment. I quite like the wood pile, but it's not indoors. Fair enough to put it outside. With some kind of access that you can drop it in from outside. See, these walls are... The problem with taking walls away further down is you risk bringing everything down on your head. Which I've been known to do on occasion. OCD would have been going through the room there. I quite like when they do some of the beams and other times it annoys me. It's a bit mix. See, they're full walls, so I'll leave them for the moment. Leave all the full walls for the moment. Uh, you can rethink about or rejig down the stairs as a new layout. See, I, I'd be more inclined to put that wall in and open this out. I'm not an architect. I'm not an interior designer by any stretch of the imagination. I just go with what feels like to me, which means it's going to be more my style. I appreciate that. Um, it's how I do things when I do it in The Sims. So we've kind of cleared out the inside and I'm just going to go ahead and do a bit of clean up on the outside so I may speed this up but we'll see I would normally clean out all of this grass and junk and we'll see we'll get rid of the broken blocks on the fence for the moment and leave all the gardening for later oh let's not shoot that shed. <laughs> Deer still floating around. Okay, 
so the next thing I would normally think about is general layout. This is create a small space, we'd make a nice little study space or potentially you could knock through and make a more utility based area in here or the dining area through here and combine this out more but this is kind of open plan it pulls through so it makes sense to leave that as it is. I'm, I can put walls back up that's why I'm not worried about taking them out. This, the flow doesn't feel right to me through to this space here. I would be inclined to rejig a little bit. Um, I can get making this another room. It makes sense having the door come off the back. It just it feels... I think it's because of where the stairs down are. Um, you're then having this big chunk in the way. I would be more inclined to maybe utilise another corner and put stairs down like a spirally stair down and take all that space back and that's it's a big it's a big space to lose let's have a think on that one and again these little half squares out look nice for mantle but they kind of strip all the space and as you can see these are little half block ceilings which is fine for the ceiling i suppose it doesn't make a difference before so now that we've kind of stripped it all back taking a look i need to i know i i damaged the roof so we need to think about that random strange oh no it's the same across okay they must just have random pieces in so we do need to do fix up some of the damage that we did going in and get some blocks out for that And start thinking about putting so that the, you can either do the outside the inside whichever way round you would like to do it I tend to do the landscaping last I do like to get feel for the house I do like to repair any big holes in the outside of the house there's no big holes I mean there's the bit from the the roof I appreciate that we caused or I caused um, but there's nothing major Let's get some topsoil and fill that in. Mm, that should be gravel. Dead trees are no no. mode getting me stuck. Okay. So so we're back inside, I think it's time to kind of start thinking about things. Now, one of the problems you have with these houses sometimes is that once you start renovating and changing things, they can come down on your head. I usually would recommend finding your base point and reinforcing the corners and reinforce the base. Usually the safest way to do it. whether this actually reinforces or just destroys but if you tend to yeah see it just destroys that's right memory serves 
Oh, it does stop. So it does stop at the end. I haven't missed anything there. So that's fine. I did it again. <laughs> I clicked the wrong button. Okay, so let's... Oh. All we're doing is just reinforcing them basically from the ground up. It's simple. We can paint the walls again. All it purely does is give the house a little bit of stability so that if you do make any changes, you're knocking down any walls, the steel will hold the combination of wood and cement and concrete. It's, it's not really an issue. If you were going to rebuild the house entirely in steel, it might not hold all of it. Um, as you know, the game has physics. Certainly, for the wood that it is, it'll hold it. to steal your levels kind of fly up so that kind of as you can see it's just putting the corners in made with steel it should it should pretty much hold anything you can throw at it now which is the intention So obviously it will change some of the, the spaces, but we should be fine. So the other thing I need is some cement cubes. Now I tend to replace things that I knock out with cement. You can do it with wood, you can do it with anything you want. It, 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 it depends if you want to stay in line with the... If you want to stay in line with, with the, th the theme of the house, obviously you get the matching, the matching piece essentially, and you know like that. It's the same type of material. You don't have to feel that you've done anything that's different. Just whatever works, really. The house now has. So I'm actually going to take this out because this to me just feels like it eats this whole room. And I think I want to open it up a little bit. I think. It feels really small, it feels really cramped, and I don't think it. I might put some of these walls back, we will just see how it goes. I'm just going to take three pieces that... a feel for the space. I think 
I'd be inclined to put some kind of utility space here and actually have stairs maybe coming down and twisting off. And just so it's off the kitchen, um, potentially utility and bathroom space. I just feel like this, again, it, it doesn't quite work for me. Your argument could be you're not really renovating, you're just demolishing and just using the base line of the house. Which, not, not wrong, essentially. Again, I come and I go with what I feel like doing at the time. Some houses will be, I'm just going to take what's there and I'm going to work with it. And other ones will be like this. I might take it apart to pieces because I, I just, it just doesn't feel right to me otherwise. I potentially would consider expanding this room a little. I don't dislike the size of that now that I've opened it up. I would consider having that as a bigger room and potentially working on moving that around. Let's get us a floor in, shall we? So that I'm not playing, I'm not dancing over it. So all I'm using is the copy brick and copy rotation so that I can get them in. It's a strange shaped space and I'm not sure, yeah, you can see is it a half wall? No, that's a half wall. That's a full wall. I kind of like to get a feel for what some of them are. Some of the spaces feel unusually high, but they're the same as the rest of the house. So I would potentially move this, do you know where I'm going to put that? I'm going to put that down over this side next to the entrance to the house. Ah, because there's no windows here. Because there's, there's no windows here. And it would make more sense to kind of give it a, an off the additional entrance way with you know a little make it more open make the downstairs an active space um where you could have more living space i think would be an idea we'll go with that that feels more that feels better to me Except for the half, half wall thing we've got going on there. down. Oh. And you could potentially do this and give it a little bit more of an entrance hallway feel. Um, we need a real. That's what we need. Uh, take that off. Um, now if you put it on these two blocks, like you see, you can see that fills in the block, which means we wouldn't be able to put anything there, which to me would kind of defeat the purpose. I potentially would be more inclined to just go with this and put it and it's not going to let me, is it? No. So 
something like that. The problem you have is it's now going to feel slightly off, but I would prefer to have something there as well, but that's then going to defeat the purpose of doing that. Okay, so we want more stairs down. So you can either go continually down like that, which does work. Especially if you take away that. Or you could have come around and made it more of a square. I think I'm going to leave it like that. And that then opens up this space a bit more. Oh, I'm going to just keep shooting back. forget to do that, I always forget to take the bit off. Feels like a more fluid, usable space that would flow with the house rather than a hidden little zone. So I'm gonna put the floor back in. There we go. So we now have a more open plan space. We can now think about bedrooms. This would now work more as a space for bedroom. I, I might end up putting some of those walls back in. I will end up putting some of those walls back in. There's no think about it. I need to think about, you've obviously got your loft access as well, so I mean potentially you could have that coming off of here into your loft access. The only thing I would say is I'm not keen on the small window being like that, but I don't think we can... I don't usually change the outside layers. No, see, that's fine. I don't tend to like changing the outer layers of the house. It's not my thing. I tend to try and not edit the outer layers of the house at all if I can get away with it. I will be going back. Crown, I think some people call it. does feel more inclined to go with a kitchen dining space. I would be inclined to make that kitchen diner. Take away the arch. The moment open the space out. So this You see, the house tips in, so we can't remove that, which is absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with that. See, I would consider moving the door one more that way. Purely for balancing aesthetics. Oh. I just... I like everything to match essentially. I, I'm very much a, everything has a balance and that works for me. It doesn't work for everybody. It works for me. I 
I would move all that out one as well, and I will continue to do that. So, if you move that over one, that gives us the ability to close this space in from here. <coughs> Might end up putting that back and have a ensuite bathroom. I'm trying to work out. <laughs> it's the thing, sometimes you take the walls down, sometimes you put them back. It just depends on how you feel. Have a lounge, a diner and a lounge. Dining, lounge, kitchen space, all relatively merged. See, that would feel quite nice, I think, actually, as a, as, as a kitchen space. Right there. Which I appreciate is where the wall was before. But then have this opened up to be It's not easy sometimes getting the structure right. See, that has a wee office nook feel to it, to me. But opening the space up more like that, so that it's all kind of open plan for such a small house, you need a bit more space. And all these walls are just absorbing that space. So I would make this. A kitchen space. With. A living room dining feel here in the office. And then from there go. Off the side I potentially. <coughs> Turn that into the bathroom. <laughs> oh, it helps if you don't miss click, innit? So now the question is, do you put a bedroom up here or do you convert the bedrooms in down here and leave the space so you could put walls in, um, windows in here and have safety drops in, which you could do. It's a bit of a conversion around the house, but you could certainly do it. So I would potentially be more inclined to put bedrooms down here. Make a large walk-in wardrobe. <laughs> oh.
I don't know what I shot there, but it... Guys, walking wardrobe there. And I can take. So what you now have coming down the stairs is a large master bedroom, well not large but a decent spaced master bedroom with a space for a closet and a space for an ensuite. You could flush that out a little bit and actually go for... Oh, how did I manage to hit the one space that it was? So that gives you, the, you've got an ensuite, they have a small closet, they have a bedroom space, and then down here that gives you more space for additional rooms, which you could potentially push out. Keep uh, shooting things. Okay. Get another little room here, a little of the study space here, and then we have a nice sort of storage, open ground area that works has a nice more open feel to it, it can be used as space, you've suddenly gone from a two cramped bedroom to three and all this open living space potentially. So you are right, you potentially would want to maybe add a bathroom back into here, but I wouldn't add it in there, I would potentially add it in here. So the question then is, do you want to open that space up? I would see. I would. Certainly do that for the moment.
planning to be had, but certainly there's, I would turn that into the bathroom space for the upstairs and essentially just have a more open plan. Put that back. You would probably want to put a pillar in for support, so maybe there. nice open plan space you can have some kitchen you could put the kitchen back in the diner room a living space or more of an entranceway and then um, that kind of idea you could stick as a utility space, nothing too exciting, and leave the rest of it open because you've got nice little pulls it back a little bit. It's much more open plan, free living space, and downstairs then is a more contained bedrooms. It's not perfect, could do with a bit of work, but I think it works for us for the moment. I think it gives us where we want to go and we can go forward from here. So the next thing we kind of want to do is think about putting these back up. get corners in as well. So I believe some people call it crowns, uh, we call it coving. Let's take a look at the we want that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I think you can have a nice little office space, a kind of kitchen space, and a just overall general more open plan house. So the coving's up. It is looking a little patchy, but it will come together. That's purely because of all the different colours, all the different changes. Once you start to put one floor down, colours down, it, it'll come together a bit better. Same with down here. Let's clear the roofs. Once we start putting some stuff up here, it'll feel a bit better. Again, I, I would pull this out, make, give yourself some because technically legally you can't have a room down the stairs that doesn't have an escape route
So what we'll do outside when we get to outside essentially is create a more open space here. Just as an escape route space that you would say is how they, how they get to it. So we might need to work on channeling that in a little bit. But that's easy enough to do. It would create hang rather than a direct down to the ground, which we can do. That's easy enough to do. Okay, so let's put some uniform colour on purely so that it's got a better feel for it, we get a better feel for it, and then we can start thinking about what colours we actually want to paint things. It's more if we can get uniformity, it just feels a touch better. And you can think about what we're going to plan it to look like. not saying these are necessarily the colours we'll stay with, but they're just something for the moment to give it a better feel, which I think is important. <laughs> not, don't need to put anything in here, it's just a cupboard. So, not what I intended to do. So, I think it gives it a better feel, it's not necessarily the colour we'll stay with, I'm just trying to get some colours down on the walls. Didn't mean to do that. That's what I mean about the paint colours. Everything's still feeling like it's a little needing a coat of paint, not feeling quite right. It, it's an issue I have with the way it feels. It doesn't feel complete. It's an issue I have. I mean, again, look, it doesn't, I get that it's trying to look battered and bruised, and I understand that. It still doesn't feel right, it just... <clears throat> it's the downside to not having final colours as such. Everything looks worn. And you don't, you, you end up not getting... 
you end up not getting a finish that, that feels good for a renovated home essentially and that is what I have issue with. what I intended. <laughs> so let's just get some colour on the walls. It's a bit uh, in your face, but... light one's gonna be any better. See that they're all kind of quite garish unfortunately. What's the ominous music on going? Might end up turning the music off at some point in the play through it just doesn't feel <laughs> it doesn't go with the rebuild feel we'll go with that for the moment entrance there. Okay. <clears throat> Do we have another bathroom down here? Oh, didn't mean that. So we kind of want to put some doors on. Um, <gasps> slight difference from when we first came into the build. We've got downstairs space, little bathroom. We have a downstairs. Oh, I've not done that yet. Hang on. Oh.
so we have our entranceway out to the side, we now have our stairs down. Down here we have a new little hall, we missed the spot we need to do it, there we go. We have a main bedroom which we will have windows in for shortly. A nice closet space, a bathroom space with an ensuite, and two smaller bedrooms. This one's a little bit bigger and a little bathroom space. So slight difference from how this room felt when you first came down. If you remember the entrance was down over here and it was a kind of assortment of walls and jungles. This feels more like an actual space that could be used. And now up here we have an open plan a living area that's going to have a little bathroom off of it and potentially a little space for utilities. So if we just go around and wash the colour. Now, the thing to remember is that this isn't necessarily going to stay this colour. What I'm trying to do here is, can I get it all one colour so we get a feel for it? Give us more of a feel for the space. <laughs> dropper and the single paint space again it might not stay this this is just let's get it on the walls get a feel for it <laughs> I know in some places like here I have actually painted the wood that will get fixed in time I'm not gonna leave it like that it's just purely for the moment So you get a better feel for the space now that it, it's all painted and you can see it does flow much better than when you get all the disjointed colourings which is nice. Obviously I don't think I'm going to stay with the green, I'm not really keen on the green. I'm probably going to flush it out into more neutral colours to go with the rest of the house. We'll go from there. I have obviously not done the pillar which again will change the feeling slightly. You can make your pillar a focal feature or just leave it as it is. Oh, that's not what I intended to do. Every time. I'm just not having a good day today, am I? <laughs> the floor. I did it to the floor as well. So if you're looking at it from here back, or if you're looking at it from here, you've got a much better feel for it. It's a much better space. So if we put doors in, it'll get a better feel again. I tend to always differentiate the front and the back. But Still don't have windows in yet, but we'll get to that. So now you can see it with some doors in, give you a better feel for the space and I think it's much more open, makes much more sense. You've got big living space here and then below essentially your private living space which I think is much better. We'll see how this goes, we need to put some colours in, mm, think about the colour space, I don't really like the green. It's not green in particular I have a problem with, it's that one. We try maybe with the wallpaper green instead since that works 
bit better. Looks a little less. Okay, that has a better feel for me. It's less scratchy, it's got better floor that goes better with the fireplace and the general space. I could change that colour up for obvious reasons, I'm not going to. Obviously this, this feeds through, we need to do some paint work in here. But I'd be quite happy to leave that the way it is. I'm not going for anything too crazy and I think I'm going to see how the coving looks around the... Not what I intended. Much better. I, so I can't feel now. And the thing is, is now that you've put it as one colour, you don't suddenly see, oh, well, this was the kitchen space and this is the dining space. You get a feel that you can have it much differently layered as to how you prefer to have it. And I think. That is the aim, which is what I was trying to say before, is when it's all patchy, you're still seeing, oh, well, that was the kitchen, that that was the, the, the living space. And when you can sort of clear it out a little bit, you get more freedom. So the other thing we now need is windows. So there's these windows here. We also have the bulletproof ones that we can use. I'm not sure what the store pane is, we'll have to have a look. There's the standard wooden windows. And that's the non bulletproof so it depends on what you're looking for as to I guess I like I don't see it here there we go that's one of the things I'm looking for and this is one of my favorite ones to use in general for littler windows I think it hides a lot of sins and it's gonna work quite well down a room like this where privacy would be a key because people in the garden could be looking down into your room which is a little creepy so I would use these maybe in the downstairs layers purely from a privacy point of view maybe on the small ones just one of the things I do. It doesn't always work with all the houses. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Let's have a look at what some of these panes of glass are. Alright, okay, so. Now there, there's one of the tricks that I like to do that if you're wanting to put something on this windowsill, you can't have the glass here. You can't have the glass in this bit because it's going to take up that square. So one of the things I sometimes do, which you can't always do depending on how your window frames are set up, actually put the glass on the outside like that and then what it lets you do is oh wrong one I'm in then what you can do is put potted plants in the windowsills it's doesn't always work because sometimes you've got the frames up here and 
if you're using that rather than the top sill, which is what they're using here, you need to replace them to be able to do that. But it is a nice touch to be able to actually put things on the windowsills themselves. Okay, still need to think about this space. Oh, not what I intended. There we go. So if I change it back. I didn't paint the wall there, did I? No, just the wall on the inside. Okay, and pick something to go on the walls, which is never easy. One thing I don't do is uh, make the houses all flow. I know some people, when they do these kind of things, the house has a theme, and they make it all flow, and it's great. I... I the lack of palette colours and options make that a little difficult for me. I'm not going to lie, I struggle with that. I think it's amazing that some people don't. <laughs> so good for them, really. changing up the colour a little bit. Let's should we try the grey maybe, the light grey. Not what I intended. That actually works. And try that. Let's take the paint that that was the one I'm looking for. I quite like that. It's not too bad. And we've already got colour in here. I'm just going to leave that um, as is. So now we need to decide what we want to do. I don't think I want the kitchen here. I'm tempted to move the kitchen here and have a dining space over here. And then a study area under this window and your lounge space here. Or yeah, I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. Need to get more windows in. That's the next thing for definite. So, I mean, you can use... It depends on how you want the windows to look, really. Or what your style you're going for is. Past the ominous music. <laughs> right, so to me the thing that doesn't work here is this. Now I know why they've done this because you can't put anything above it but it does rather mess with to just take the top bomb off and leave it like that just kind of as a okay. the only weird thing we're using the stained glass though is that I'd maybe move the plates I'm maybe not happy with the way it sits because then you see the wall through the outside which I think is a bit strange which is fine if you're painting your frames a set colour and everything you know so your windows are all like a creamy colour and it's not really an issue it becomes more of an issue when there we go so 
I would do more. I'm more inclined to do that. Oh. Not what I intended. Again, you could technically do it from the outside, but you would need to put a frame on to hold it. And then you could utilise the space, but as they're higher up windows, I'm not going to stress too much about that. Now we've got windows in. Oh, not windows in here. Doesn't work, does it? I'm going to put that in the wrong place. Every time. Every time. So we need it to be out here. Now you're probably going, that really doesn't go with it, but I'm going to paint the outside of the house, um, so it will change. And we now have the house. Now, there are some times where I'll get to this point and I'll be like, right, the house is done, it's decorated, rooms are set up, go. Essentially, as in, I'll leave it like that, and I'll go out and do the outside, and this is it. It's more a case of the house is empty and it's ready to move into, and sometimes I will actually do the interior of the house and put things in. I think I'm going to take a break from inside the house for a little bit and go outside and do a bit of work outside. I think I want to get the outside of the house painted and ready. main thing is the house is windproof and watertight. Obviously still not put anything to up the stairs yet. Need to work out what I'm doing with that. I would potentially put it maybe in here. Here. The problem with doing this, obviously, is it leads to, well, exactly what we're seeing. So I would then need to put plates in. essentially cover it and allow you to get up to this space up here. And now you have access up to the loft space. I'm not really going to do it. I'm not going to do anything up here. This is purely, it's too small. 
I'm going to I'm going to treat it as I would for anything, and that is that it is storage space. They have access to their loft, attic. Pick your terminology, and they use it. Um, that that's pretty much it. It's not designed. I'm not going to make it rooms that they're going to use. It's too small to do anything with. So I'm not even going to attempt to do anything with it. What I am going to do is just give it a colour. Just so it doesn't feel quite so... When you're going through it. That works for me. And then again, we can put, we can use the cheaty stained glass and hide so that you don't see through the wall into the empty space. plenty of storage space if they need it and they can get into it easily from here. Obviously I would treat it as if you'd have a hatchway here that potentially you know pull downstairs however you want to but obviously we don't have that in the game so you, you just kind of have to go with what's available really. So we need to come back out here and fix this ceiling. So this is going to be utility space and the way up to the to the main area. <laughs> Just in case you look up, so you, all you see is the tiles, and that works. So we now got access to this the loft space. So essentially, that's the main house out any form of items, furniture. It is, it is done, so we can go and start thinking about some other spaces now. I could have done without the ominous music when I made that statement, but you know. Essentially, that was a quick fix to the stones, and it worked. So now we need to think about what we want the outside of the house to look like. We need to flush out some of this. So the first thing we're going to do is take away this. and have this act as a sloped piece. Not sure what piece it is right now. My brain doesn't always give me the right pieces when I'm thinking about it. I don't think it's that one. No, it's not. One of the corner pieces. Pretty sure it's one of the inner corner pieces, but which inner corner piece is anyone's guess? That works. <sighs> so 
the reason I'm doing this is to open up this here. So what we're going to do So the idea of this is that it's the it's what you obviously need to do for the house in the sense to make it safe. So got rooms down the stairs. Must have a way to escape. So that's how this space works. So Essentially. Hmm, interesting. It's not giving us. Oh, it's because I'm looking at shapes, aren't I? I'm not in the building. Pain. around these go. It's always easier to do it with a wooden hatch and then upgrade. I, I don't, it doesn't, I can never work out which way. Like obviously I wanted to go that way. Obviously we can't actually get down it. It's not going to be functional for us. It's more as a overall part. going for functional I would have to make the chimney work it and I'm not doing that so so what I would do now is go for uh, bars every time every time Instead of clicking the rotate, I click the... That. Oh, I didn't mean that. is it's now got light it's got escape route for obviously fire protection purposes but it doesn't need to now the, the thing we can do here is we can do it as one or we can just have it go all the way along which might actually be more sensible as if we just have it go all the way along What we do need to do is do what we did with the other bit, which is make this more slanted piece rather than fighting with it. I don't want to spend the next 60 years trying to find, find it. What I do need to do, however, now is fix the underside of the paint. Like that. So 
you could do them as individuals or I'm just going to do it as one big long one as part of the age of the house. It also works. that was not again not what I intended to do So the other thing we need to do is take the paint and finish off the spaces. That's fair. So that is how we open up the basement to be used as rooms and still feel like a proper house because obviously a real house would have light entry and it would have fire escape spaces so that would potentially be how you could do it. Um, anybody who is an expert in these things please don't go that is not would not be legally allowed right that's not the purpose of what I just did. <laughs> I'm just example. It's not meant to be taken as fact. Just for the record. <laughs> get the house back to the way it should be and then we can think about what we want it to look like on the outside, how shiny we want it to look. I think it's looking quite good. I'm quite pleased. We still need to do the outside here or these sides. But there's only one in this side so it's not as dramatic. Definitely not as dramatic. So let's have a look. So what do you think? I, I quite like that. I feel like the window's got a nice touch. Be better than that. It's chained the garden quite dramatically. It's got the right feel to it. Do need to now think about how we want the outside to look. So one of the things I tend to do is put walkways around a garden. I find it strange that they don't have them, but the other thing I tend to do is neaten up the woodwork. Just similar, that's, that's another one I use. I've seen a, where's my crack, there's a cracked black one, is it that one? That might be the one I usually use. Yes it is, that slightly cracked look. and more with the rest of the house. So let's get the rest of the woodwork painted. Right, so anyone who's not used to this and is interested, when you paint these ones, as you can see, you end up with this little gap here that doesn't paint. You have to click on as if that bit wasn't there and click on the other piece and then it paints it. So I'll show you what I mean. See how this has got two different paint stains? So if we do that, it, don't, it doesn't paint the outside, so you have to click on as if you were painting the bit 
where it stops. Do not ask me why that's why it does it. I couldn't tell you that's why it does it. It just it is what it does. It's nicer looking framework. So we do need to finish expanding this out, and I said we were going to expand this out. So let's let's do that. That's a full block. Interesting. There you go. Okay. So we're going to add. Essentially what I'm doing is just expanding the this out since we decided to move the door just so it looks correct. Maybe I should uh, eat. that's what it does <laughs> because you know that that's that's not at all annoying yeah. so that brings that back in line with where it was before which I think is what we wanted so I'm okay with that it just brings the feel of it back a little bit more um, I'm going to match the roof in there because I think it should be because it is over this side so I don't know why it's not on the other side. So the next thing I want to do is the underside of the, which I always use this for. It's just one of my favourite ones to do it with. I couldn't tell you why, it just is. trick is, is it doesn't always do it, so you just need to double check. Oh. Interesting. The top doesn't want to paint. wonder if there's a knack to that one as well. I should get that one to go, but this one doesn't want to. Hmm. 
Hmm, that'll annoy me. I'll come back to it. So, we can I go uh, standard base. I actually think I'm going to change the stones away from there. Now, do we want to go with the brick like that? Or do we want to go with the white brick? I'm going to go with the bright brick. Better eat something before my character keels over. Okay, so... away from that I think I quite like that that's that works for me and then we need to just decide on the color of the slats of the house not sure I would go maybe go with the blue it's maybe a little softer than the green I'll just go for something a bit more like that Really is a personal choice as to what you prefer. I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> That's just me, I'm like, I'm aware there's an underside to that, I need to paint it. swing round, finish off the side. Okay, so I actually really like that, I think that's really nice, I think it's really smart and because of the limitations of the things we can use that don't just look tragic, I'm quite happy with that. I think that works. There's still a lot to do, we've got all the furniture to do and we have a garden to sort. Plus, we need to finish off around here. Okay, so the other thing we need to do then is put a safety space in here, which we can do easily enough. Oh, not quite sure what happened there. I think. So we're going to expand that out one more, I think. So the under layer is still these bricks and I think I'm just going to keep it as that just to define it slightly differently. Um, I'm going to put that to standard. Okay, and we'll put the ladders up. So if we get these painted. And that brings the bits that we needed to add in for the house. So if the house itself, other than furniture, is done as far as I can tell. I, I don't think I've missed anything. Oh, yes I have, look. Every now and then you come across a bit. So, looks alright. It's done. It's looking nice. I would consider changing the shingles, but I'm going to leave them for the moment. I was going to have a funny feeling I might have just painted all the way down that wall. No, I didn't. That's Steve. That's actually. So. Okay, so that's done. That is the house itself done. Now we need to look at the garden. 
it's time to look at his one's garden. I'm, I might take away these trees straight off the bat, just to... for more space we need to repair the fence straight up the other thing we need to do is clean up the spots so the reason i'm getting rid of them and putting it back because as you can see it comes back without the piece of rubbish that's built into the material so essentially I'm doing a quick clean up you might think it doesn't seem like it's worth it but actually getting rid of all the little blood stains and rubbish do actually make a big difference to how it feels as you can see I mean look at the difference Changes it quite dramatically. So the one thing that is missing from this game, I would love them, is it's the ability to cut the grass quickly. So something you could swing, it wouldn't damage anything else other than the grass, like a scythe or something. It, I know the game isn't a building game, it's not designed for that, it's a survival builder game, I appreciate that. It's not really designed for what I'm doing right now, but it is a sand, it does have sandbox ability, which is what I'm in now, so why give us that and not give us additional tools? I'm just trying to clean up the edges here a little bit. Now the biggest issue you have when doing this is as you can see, you see these tiny little ones that are, you can't always see them. It's a bit of a pain. Now the only thing I would say is that when you're playing 70s the way it's intended the grass and all the different layers it looks amazing it feels great to be able to it's not all grass it's not all just one layer it doesn't all move the same time it's all but it's <laughs> when you're trying to actually clean gardens up i'm gonna pay I'm not gonna lie So I'm going to stick with their planned outer layer, which is this fence thing here, rather than bringing it all the way up to the edge of the road. You're wondering what I'm doing. I'm repairing the bits of gown that I punched and damaged. Okay, so I want to bring this, essentially I want to bring this round and to line up with the edge of this. That is my intention. To do that I want to clear some of the grass, so I'm going to keep going with that. I suddenly feel like the lawn juggernaut. Not, not that he punches his grass away, but that's not the point. So you can see this, this is kind of cleaning up nicely. I actually think the best way to deal with the grass is to be slightly above it. 
you're less likely to punch the ground and more likely to punch the grass, or at least for the shorter pieces. Okay, so what we want to do is get that in the same rotation. Now, this is the thing that I'm going to have a problem with. This is, we were talking about before, about the half block, which means I can't now plant anything in there. If I was putting anything up against the fence, I might actually turn that round. And go that way. Not letting me copy the piece, so that must be a separate. I'm not sure what that is. But so what this done now is it's enclosed the garden but kept it semi open the way it was. And it gives us a land boundary, which is what I wanted. baseboard half so go concrete dash so if we do yeah like that's what we're looking for concrete baseboard That's what we're looking for, I think. Like that. Works for me. There we go. I'm happy with that. And maybe put a work on the path a bit, clean things up. Whoa. Every time. Somebody ordered fog. Now there is sides to the edge of this, but it doesn't seem to, they don't seem to do them, so I'm just going to leave, I'm going to go around the back side of the house, clean up the broken ones around here. Paving around the house is sort of semi done. Let's just check the other side, see if it needs any work. Only because that doesn't feel right. So now I'm going to quickly clean up, as we said already, just clean some of this up because it just looks. And look at the difference. If we stand looking at it now, and we'll see it in a minute. You can't tell me that doesn't feel entirely different. I 
don't know why we have the you have the gravel at the sides and then they put in more Let's see that to me it should be gravel I don't know why it's not It sounds like gravel when it destroys, but it doesn't look like gravel. So the next thing we need to really do is fix up the fences. So one of the things we need is... That is the question. I don't think they would over here. Right, so three, and then it's the fourth one. Okay, so. What we do need is the plate. It doesn't let me copy the shape for some reason. Sometimes it's not what you think it is. Of course, it's not called what you think it is, which gets me sometimes. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We just go with. center plate, the other plate. Okay, and we can... It's not a plate actually, it's a sheet. That's that is what we're looking for. That. So that's outstanding. Now what we need to do is actually put the remaining posts in place. That's going to be the tricky bit. Because we set... One, two, three... One, two, three... Yeah, we'll see this is where it's... Right, so this the equivalent of that. No. Yes, okay. It's equivalent of that one, I think. Yeah, okay. Which is one, two, no, one, two, and then the, that one sits there. Bit right. See now this one doesn't set the same. Go with that. <laughs> no. tie it into the house and do it but that's not what the house is painted is it that's what the house is painted is different. That is a pool. Mm, we'll leave 
that for the moment. Ah! Okay, I'm okay with that. It's not perfect, but it's you know, fence repaired, cleaned up, does the job. The large pieces of grass down. you a feel for where we are now. We've got the fence repaired, that's looking quite nice. Get the exterior of the house painted. Don't need to really do much too much else. Need to clean up the back garden maybe. Rabbit. So we kind of cut down the tall grass. I'm not going to stress too much about the little bits. I might, I might remove them. I think I'm going to clean up some of the dirt though because it's not. Put topsoil back instead. Dirt, which was not what I wanted. Yeah, it's just going to keep going down this dirt. this needs to go up and round it feels a bit off that it does I would have had it stop here which I think I will I think I'm going to get rid of it That feels better, that feels more correct to me. It didn't feel right that it spun around. There's nothing wrong with us having a path that goes down. But it, I wouldn't have said it, it would have been, that it would have gone all the way over. That doesn't feel right. And again, I'm only going by what I know from where I'm from. Obviously, that might be really, really normal for wherever you are. Why is it doing that? Um, not quite where I was in the 
I must have accidentally paint picked the I did, so I've accidentally picked the <laughs> hit the um Down. Now there's bricks there creating the edge of the flower bed, so it's not going to go that way. What I'm going to do is go round. Yes. I just need to find it. This. Nope, that one. I think that's the number two part. It is indeed. Look, see? So there is one. You can put the brick down. I've got the okay. For some reason, I didn't do that corner randomly, did every other corner in the house but that one. So we can get we've got path now, we can put a door back on here. Don't think I'm going to do much with this, I may actually just paint the metal to bring it in line with the rest of the house but I think I think that's it I don't think I'm going to do anything else to it <laughs> oh that was not what I meant I'm going to leave that the way it is. I'm just going to put a door back on it. I think that is all I want to do. I'll actually put a door on it, I think, rather than just a... Actually, we don't have a one by one, they're all three by three, three by four, seven by. I'll put a an iron door on it just to finish it. Just to go. Yeah, there you go. That works. I would be tempted to put some kind of um, flower bed along here, like that is. Let's see how it would look. I don't think we need to do much more, I think. From an external point of view, the house is looking quite good. I'm not going to do too much landscaping here. I think I'm quite happy with it. Um, I would maybe put some fruit trees in here or bushes in there and I would I would maybe do some um flower bed under here. 
something, nothing too exciting. I don't think it needs it. Not for the first one that we're doing. It can be kept quite simple. So this is how we're looking from when we first showed up. A little bit different. Still needs to be have inside done. But in general, it's looking good. things I just tend to stick on quick quick is I'm all gonna do blinds around there. I'll do blinds the top I wish you could get them going the other way because I think it would look more I'll show you what I mean. If you could have them, yeah, a bit more like that, but there, like that. So it looks more like they're rolled up, and not just let someone cut them off at the bottom. You could do them here, but I, I, I feel that's uh, gilding the lily somewhat. Okay, so we've got the outside done, we've got the inside painted and sorted. We just need to think about what we would do in terms of space of what we would layer out, what we would put in, and just kind of think it through, really. Don't like how that looks. Okay, so let's try to get something to do with the kitchen going, I think. The question is, do we put the... Fr I'm going to put the fridge... There. Okay, now we need cabinets. So, if we go, we need normal cabinets. And we need sink. So we start with that. So I'm going to put the sink under the window. Okay. <laughs> Ominous music. Okay, we'll put the cabinet then. Our cabinet, which you don't really get with the brown ones. Okay, so we need a faucet. Put 
cabinet, another cabinet. And I need a fridge. You wonder why I'm doing that. Um, debating putting some kind of. I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> like that. And the thing you put a hood over it. Thing we want is an underneath layer to the hood, and then the rest we will paint it something sensible. I'm not sure you get sensible, but we'll go with it. such. It's, uh, what you see is what you get, really. It's And then we want our table. Dynamic table would be best. And some chairs. We're not going overly out on the uh, ye old decoration, shall we say? I'm just. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do sort of um Comfy by the fire chairs, but have the main sofa over here. But what I'm going to do is do some form of decoration to split the room. Gonna separate them out a tiny little bit. We'll leave that as a fireplace setting and then I'm gonna put the sofa.
obviously you would put there would be storage in there. We don't have anything to go in there, but uh, that would be the idea. This way you can appreciate the view and watch TV. So we've got dining space, we still need to use utility space. TV space is where they enjoy the fire. Yeah, it might be under embers. Yes, it is under embers. So let's see what else they've got in the decoration section that we could utilise. shoes and all that for when we're doing the room. Let's have a look what else we've got, let's see. So we we grabbed some of the luggage, we've got some bags and things we can put down in some of the rooms. Pots, bags, that's all the I'm, remember, I'm not making this a house lootable. It's not POI I'm designing. This is purely a refurb. So I'm trying to find something that seems semi sensible. See what I mean about it? it's all designed for looking rough and looking. Okay, it's. it's Nice to have the light side of it. I want to have a look what's in the lights. Let's get rid of some of this. being there. Okay, um. We still have the, the rest of the, the some things to do. So we, we still need to get the bathroom done. It's not really a bathroom, it's more like a utility space, isn't it? So all we really need in here is, whoa, not that. We're stuck with those colours, to be honest. But it does the job.
we don't really have the option to change much about these ones, unfortunately. This is pretty much what we're stuck with. So I think I'm okay with that. It's it looks way better than it did when we started. It feels more like an actual functioning home now. I'm okay with this. Again, we don't have a lot of decor. I mean, we can do this. A lot of stuff you can mess around and do, but it seems kind of pointless to be honest. I'm not going to stress too much. It's not. We're not in a house flipper or one of these games that has something we can use to add clutter to the game. We don't have that option, so we just kind of have to go with what we've got, which is this essentially. Not what I intended. Again. I did it again. <laughs> oh, love it. Love it. Okay, so we've got some radiators in. Okay, so next thing we really want to get established is the bed. Get some beds in. So we want to put king size in. Don't think we can paint, can we? No, unfortunately not. Again, I just stuck with what we've got. The ones with the lamps on in here. Hmm, interesting. too much in these rooms, I'm just going to kind of put a few bits and pieces in. I might uh, still put in some lights and things, but uh, we'll get to that stage, I think. happy with that. So we have three bedrooms. You could potentially do more, put more clutter in. Do 
what did I think it was the last one already? <laughs> I clearly wasn't thinking that one through, was I? You could put a shower in. I'm not going to fight with that today. Um, I might do that in my next build. Obviously, you can do showers and things like that, but it's been it's been a long build, and I'd like to. I think we'll just leave it up where it is, rather than stressing with that. So, maybe the last thing we should pop is maybe some pet. Sure, what the um, I would have thought it was under picture, but it's, apparently it's not. That's interesting. What's it under then? What are they called? Am I having a moment here? Because I know there's pictures. There we go. Painting. They're under painting. I I think I'm happy with that. So I think we are done. So I'm going to clear up my inventory. And we will have a small house tour. So from outside, we now have the garden. We'll go around. The little shed. Cleaned up the worst of the grass. Added in a small fence. And in general, just revamped it. So inside, we've taken down most of the walls, turned the very cramped living space into a more snug by the fire with a TV space, desk, eating area, nice big kitchen, small utility space which leads up to the loft. And a small upstairs bathroom. We then also have downstairs a hallway space leading to a master and a large walk in closet, one suite, and two other bedrooms, along with the downstairs family bathroom. So we have done quite a lot. I haven't, what I haven't done is actually put what I normally do, which is um, solar panels on the roof and then set lights up so that you can turn the lights on and off. Usually I do it with cameras so it's automatic as you walk in it auto turns the lights on and off and you don't have to do it. I'm going to skip that this time round. I think this has been quite a long video and I would like to move forward. So let me know in the comments what you think should we do some more what house do you think should be next i'll give you a quick tour of what's in the area so if you have a quick look so this is the one we've just done you can see there's more sort of destructed houses around that's the one with this sort of tree house in the background there is some more buildings, so there's some burnt out ones which are going to take a lot more building, a lot more imagination because they're completely destroyed. 
and there's obviously some shops and things like that so if you have any suggestions let me know otherwise we will pick a house and start next time i may come back and finish a few bits and pieces off in here just obviously cleaning up the grass around the outside and that kind of thing but for the moment i am quite happy with that i think that does what i wanted it to do i'm really pleased with the turning the basement down into actually usable space and um, expanding what was a very cramped two bedroom house into a now spacious three bedroom i think that works quite nicely and as you can see from the outside it looks quite nice the effect of the of the blinds turned sideways works quite well so i'm going to call it there and we will see how it goes thanks very much all this has been bex squared gaming this is scottish bex and we will see what happens next time see you later